Welcome everyone to another episode of the Soviet Union in the Kaiserak mod. So guys, I was finally back to the episode where I finally have my voice back. Um, again, very sorry for those last two episodes. Um, I don't think there's... If you watch the two episodes, that's great, that's fine, and you probably know, kind of know what's happening, but just in case of those people who skip the episode, which I'm not exactly mad, I mean, I wouldn't really watch a YouTuber just like, you know, random two episodes where they don't actually record. But, just so you guys know what's happening, I was basically in a great war with Germany and Japan, and I'm losing the front on Japan, and we are demolishing the Germans right now. So, that is what's happening, World War Three, well, World War Two had begun, and yeah, okay? That's a quick summary of what happened, so let's begin again. So, right now, the Persians are doing stuff. I'm doing stuff too, but that's not a different thing. I'm also technically the ninth power in the world right now, but that's only because I don't have all my military building up yet. So once my military is built up, we should have a really good power base. And let's see, we're going to quickly go, go full speed at this, because we're basically done with the war. You know, Germany is finished, and then, you know, once they're done, you know, once these guys are done sieging up this, they can go send all their troops to go help me over here. So, we're done with basically the invasion. We just have to wait for them to finish up their actual, like, invasion. So, yeah, let's just, let's just watch as Germany gets sieged, because I'm kind of enjoying this. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if it's because they beat us in the First World War and we had to watch ourselves die. But I am thoroughly enjoying watching Germany get invaded so badly. And I'd like to also comment, this is the first time I've ever seen such a successful invasion by the French and the British from coming back from such a loser streak. I mean, look at this guys, they they were technically the underdogs in the first Kaiserak war, but now look at them, they are destroying and just pulverizing the Germans, just teaching them who was the real winner of the first great war. And I give them props. Also, we just feared the, the Finnish because why not? They're a good buffer state and they'd be nice to have. Plus, I'd need a military sometimes. And now we're building up our military so that I don't look so pathetic towards the other, like, powers. Because I honestly should be 8th power in the world before this all ends. Like, once my military builds up again, I should be 8th power. Alright, and let's see. They're now finishing up the conquest of all of this land. And Finland, Finland, you would like an alliance, I will gladly give you that alliance. And you gladly already make me want to regret that alliance. What the heck? Hmm. Acquire Island Islands. Is this really worth it? What are the Island Islands? Is this... You're fighting over one province. Are you kidding me, Finland? No. love to say no actually but I can't okay if I'm gonna do this I'm calling in everyone I know yes Brit France Britain go fight my war for me my stupid allies called me in and I have to go make other people fight this war for me the United Kingdom joined in did the French join in did the French join in oh come on Frenchies either accept or decline I don't have patience for both okay accept or decline Except it looked like my offer. I don't know what voice that was, but it sounded more cool in my head. Uh, we are not the leader of this one, can I? Oh, that's why. Ah, it's not. Okay. It's, it's, it, it, it's an understanding. I should have probably called in France first and then. Well, actually, I did do that. Why the heck? Why the heck are they doing this to me? Why? Oh my goodness. Okay. And let's see. Can we add any war goal before. No. We absolutely can't. It seems like the other two powers took away all power we could have gotten from this. And the Wall Street crashed! The stock market has crashed and the world is about to be plunged into chaos. You know what? This is a big enough army to just go crush some of these guys. I'm gonna go help crush some of these guys. The Wall Street crashes and... Wow, that... that wait, why did I stop that? Wait, I should have read that. That was actually pretty cool. They actually have a little mini event for it. Uh, hopefully... Yes, the French are unseaging all my land. Oh, this is kind of nice, just having all these little guys unseage me. Yes, unseage me, you peasants. Okay, also, while you are unseaging, I'm going to keep this at speed 3 while I uh, build my railroads. Because railroads are the future of Russia, as everyone knows this. Okay, because we have to keep building our railroads. Our railroads are quite important to our, industri our industriality. 
Okay. Okay. Let's see. And we're gonna build our transcontinental railroad again. Oh wait, that's probably all seeds up land. Never mind. We're just gonna keep over here in our land that's actually on seeds by the by the bounty of us. Uh, okay, and just wait until our good old fashioned allies go kick the butt out of everyone else. I know this isn't exactly the best strat I know this isn't exactly the most like um bravest strategy, but considering that Considering that I literally just ended a war with the bolt with the uh, white army and then just instantly went into a war with the uh, Germans again, I think this is pretty good. Like, I think I'm doing pretty good for the fact that our nation just got back together and now we're instantly at war. Now the British should be able to crush most of the Japanese. Most of the Japanese spread out very very thinly, so even if they do have more troops, they have less troops. So we should be good there. Also, it looks like they already ended the Oh, the war already ended. Yay, Finland Finland won. Good job, Finland. I knew you could do it. Even though never call me into a war ever again. I never want to be calling a war. By the way, how's Africa going? Are you guys seizing up Dolph Africa or the Mittel It would be Mittel Africa if we were in the uh, darkest hour mod right now. But right now I don't think the colonial state has been set up, so it's technically it's technically German Africa, but I'll call it Dorf Africa anyways. And, yeah, we're basically destroying them down here too. That's good. Seems like... And there's still one German regiment trying to fight for its cause. I, I Give him props, I guess. I mean, yeah. And propaganda campaign. Oh, wow, that's... I love propaganda campaigns. This is... Wow. Propaganda, propaganda campaigns are awesome. Why do we not have more of these in times? Oh gosh, okay, so let's see, and the Japanese are invading. I'm waiting for my good British friends to conquer a little bit more. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna build up my army, divide it up. Once it's all divided, I will, I will do a lot more stuff with it. Give me one second, people. Okay, we are back, so yeah, I just had to, just had to quickly check in my mom, tell her what everything's happening, tell her I love her, and all that kind of Jeff stuff, okay. And let's continue. So, yeah, Japan basically gonna die. <laughs> uh, once we get all of our troops in position, I basically think Japan's basically done for. I mean, the entire alliance with the Germans have basically failed them, and now, I mean, we're getting sieged up. But I would like to point this out: this is all the land I basically don't care about. So, oh wow, you guys, what did you guys do? Cut the German Empire size that. You know what? I actually accept that one. <laughs> Strange enough, you know what? Cut the Germans' army down to size. I actually will accept that one because that one is... Yeah, we really should cut the Germans down to size. Oh, wait. There's already something we could do. Yay! Radar system. Let's see. And the submarines. Ooh. Ooh. All this fancy stuff we could build. Tax efficiency. I think we should probably get logarithms so that we can, like, uh, do math correctly, I should say. Do math correctly. Uh... Oh, wait, it's logistical positivism. So does that mean we just basically be positive in almost all lights of anything? So, like, even though we might lose a war, we'll just be positive? Yeah, you know? Actually, you know what? I like that. Anything that happens, everyone, we stay positive. Yeah. If we're being almost completely invaded, we're gonna win. If we are having massive amount of famines and massive amount of revolts, we will win. If the game crashes, we will win. Yeah. That's positivism. Okay. And I think we can officially declare that we still don't have enough people in our own Congress. I wouldn't really call it a Congress, but our own, like, upper house to actually be able to outvote the fascist. What the heck, world? What the heck? We should... Oh my goodness. We should also be outvoting the fascists. We should all be voting the fascists. We do have a country made up of ourselves, but we should be outvoting the fascists. I, I think that would be the least what we, at the very least, that's what we would do, is outvote the fascists. Uh, and let's see, a massive conscription army is almost done. It is the massive conscription army that I made because I wanted a massive conscription army and it's not starting to weigh heavily on our economy. A war torn economy that's been, actually we could probably cut this down to about 55. And we have no education, but then again, education's not that important right now because of 
we just got some technology after a very long time of waiting. We just got some technology, so yeah, it's kind of important, but we'll see. Japan is still making a somewhat good advance on me, which is kind of scaring me. I'm wondering where the British army and all the other armies are to go counteract them. I mean, if, if they want me to fight it, I will, but it'll take me a little bit. I'm still trying to regain strength, just from regaining strength. But our army's almost halfway done. I think we're almost halfway done. I mean, I really didn't look how many troops I was making. I was just like, if you guys don't know, in the video I was actually, because you probably didn't watch it, but I was just really mad, so I was like, Okay, you know what? I'm gonna make like a billion troops and let's see what happens. So, it might come down to the fact that we just did a colonial province. Congratulations to us! Yay! Yay! To us! Okay, and we just got logistical power. Uh, let's get individualism, that way we get our education efficiency better. So we can start working on that. And everyone! It is become official, the first great war, well, the second great war has ended in us actually winning, which fills my heart with great, 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 great feelings. Um, I'm also thinking I'm going to get an alliance with the lower Republic of, of China because Republic of China would be nice. And now since we have beaten the Germans once, it's going to be way easier to beat them again. Which is what I like. And what I also like is the fact that we should probably stop encouraging so much manpower. Uh, <laughs> our economy, I don't think, can take much more of this. Yeah, our economy can't take much more of this. But we should be getting more dimitaries here soon. Shouldn't we? I mean, we won the war, so we should be. But it'll take us a little bit. It'll take us a little bit. Oh, yeah, and we also just got through a market crash. <laughs> Yay! We went through the second great war and a market crash! All great things. Okay, get that alliance with the uh, Republic of China. Okay, now I have a counteraction to the mighty Japanese over here. So if the um, if the Republic of China ever wants to go to war against Japan, I am totally gonna jump on that because we want we will want our revenge against Japan for what they did to us. I would personally want to take all of Manchuria from them. And I'd also want to take all my original land back over here in Germany, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. And let us see. Hmm. You're allied with the Germans. You're not allied with the Germans. See, I have a causes. I know earlier that I have a causes belly that's called. Um. What was it? What was it? Total annexation. And I would not really mind using it at some point. So, we just have to think of what nation we should use it against. Um, actually, what am I saying? The nation we should use it against is probably going to be the Germans. We need them, then, what we're going to need to do is make sure the Germans, like, annex the uh, rest of the uh, Kaiser Dornstein. Because once they, ally, once they, like, conquer the rest of that, then what we'll do is we'll just completely gobble them up and then just have this nice-ass border with the, like, Soviet Union name all over it. Oh man, that, that sounds nice, doesn't it, people? That sounds nice. Okay, we can also re improve our railroads after after having some minor difficulties with the uh, Japanese. Now, let us continue with building the railroads because we, as the Soviet Union, care very much for the Trans Siberian Railroads. Yes, and let us see right here. Let us see right over here and right over here, too. Right here, no, oh, up out of range, everyone, stop, stop the presses, stop the presses, up out of range. And let's go right here, and let's build a naval base, and let's go right there, build a fort, I guess. Let's go right here, and, wow, this is not giving me much, very much space over here. And all these little places, like, different places, I'm like, there we go. Alright, no, wait, still got a little bit more, there we go. And still, so, wait, still got a little bit more in the cart. In the uh, Caucasian region, I think it's called. I might be pronouncing that wrong. In fact, I probably am pronouncing that wrong, and I'm very sorry to the people that live in this region. It has a rich culture and history, but I am very ignorant of it, so sorry about that. And let's continue on. Now that our debts have been a little bit paid off, that means we're actually going to start making money again. Making the money. The first Krafulafel 
Proposals for the first motorways were made in Germany during the days of the Winterberg Republic in the 1920s. However, due to mediocre political support, it took a lot of time before plans were formulated and before any constructed efforts were made. Before, in 1932, the first Autobahn was constructed and today it plays an essential role in the developing infrastructure. Yeah! Go, Germany! You just lost a world war and you built a car! This sounds very familiar at some point. Some, some, somebody please stop me if it really does sound familiar to you. Okay, and now that I think that's the last... Do we have any more troops? Okay, no we don't. Okay. Combine all this into one army. We're going to divide up our 255 troops. Wow, that's a lot of troops. Um, we're going to divide up our 255 troops into about four armies. Yeah, four armies. And we probably should actually build some uh, horsemen. But we can't build rocket motorways or any of these kind of fancy dancy stuff just yet. Yeah, we must discover combined arms, rocket facilities, aerodynamics, and all that kind of jazz. Uh, let's build... I'm not going to build that many of those because those things cost a ton. Okay. And, yeah, let's just divide this up right here. Uh, send half of the army to 55k that way. Send the other half of the army this way. Okay. And there we go, everyone. We now have a proper army that could legitimately, legitly kick a lot of butt if it really needs to. That makes me happy right there. And with that, we're going to pay off the rest of our loans. Okay, we are completely loan given. That means I can start decreasing taxes by 1%. Actually, wait, wait. Education has to be at least at 50. 51%. And then we can start decreasing taxes by a lot more. We are also going through some kind of poor, well, not really poor, we're going through some kind of, wrong word, we're going through some kind of crisis with our population. Not really surprising, though, considering that they're probably immigrating to the United States, making them a big, gigantic power. Yep. <laughs> uh, most immigrants actually come from the Republic of China, though, but I'm assuming because we're going to be using this mod a lot, or I should say we're going to go later into this mod, Canada and, like, United States are going to become great great powers. I mean, not just great powers, but I mean great, great powers. Alright, that kind of worries me, actually. And it seems like the Republic of China actually went to war against the Japanese without me even noticing. Hopefully, the Republic of China will be able to hold off. Ooh, yeah, hopefully, they'll be able to hold off, but... Not sure if they can. <laughs> I was hoping they unite, like... Quinzai, Tibet, and Zingzong before they start going after Japan. I mean, I, I would have personally united most of my sphere before I went out for some other country. And let's see, who are we encouraging right now in terms of... Oh, we already have everyone. Okay, then. Let's see, who do we get to spread our red our red justice to? Um, Are you ever going to become back to a great power? Because if not, I would love to have... You could become a great power. You're way too close to the great power list to become my good friend. Let's see. China, you guys are a little bit further, but I don't think I can influence you. Yeah. Wait, wait, I can influence China? Okay, we have to do it. We have to do it. Okay, if I could get China in my sphere, that would give me, like, a major, like, market. Give me, like, major people I could, like, you know, sell to. And would give me a major army I could use at any point in time. That sounds awesome to me. Okay. And when does that peace treaty run out with the Germans? Because I... I feel like as soon as the peace treaty runs out, we just instantly, we just instant, wait, we just instant, there we go, we just instant, I was trying to snap, we just instantly declare war, take the, take all of Germany in one gigantic, you know, total war-esque, you know, fashion, and then we just, well, we just use that as a, I guess, a takeoff to go take over the rest of the world and spread the red joy around. I mean, it sounds like a good idea to me. Don't know if it sounds like a good idea to you. Oh, wow. Yeah, Japan is definitely kicking the butt out of the Republic of China. But we're going to help them out, so soon they won't be so um, unprotected, I should say. And we're making way too much money now, so that means... Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. That means we should probably increase this. Yes. Increase the administration efficiency. Once we get the administration efficiency working to 100%, even more 100%. Crime fighting, 35%, that's good. Alright. 
And, oh, yeah, my natural foci. Okay. So, this is all good. Uzbekistan is all good with its, uh, with its uh, literacy. I think this was good because this only had 2%, right? 2%, 2% bureaucrats, soldiers. Oh, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been an awesome episode of Kaiser Modern. I hope you guys will join me for the next one. I'll see you guys next time.